There are many reasons why you might need to connect your OM system LSP5 directly to your camera. And in this video, I'm gonna have a look at two of the most common scenarios, starting with using the LSP5 with an external microphone system. I'm gonna mount mine directly to the hot shoe using an optional hot shoe adapter like that. And then I'm gonna get my external microphone and plug that directly to the three and a half mil line in jack. Now it's worth checking in the menu to make sure that this is actually set to mic level. Alternatively, you might want to use the LSP5's superior microphone setup compared to your cameras. Well, the LSP5 with its three zoomable microphones are definitely that. In this case, I'm using an optional shock mount which isolates the LSP5 from the camera so I don't pick up any handling noise. At this point, it's a good idea to dive into the LSP5's menu and change the zoom setting for the microphones so you record just the area that you need and exclude any audio that you don't want to hear. From here on, it doesn't matter whether you're using an external microphone system or the built-in microphones of the LSP5, you're gonna to need to set a few things up. First of all, checking the audio levels. There's a really handy peaking light on the LSP5. If that's flashing, your audio recording level is too loud and your audio will be distorted. Of course, the best thing to do is to monitor the audio with headphones. Now, they can be Bluetooth headphones like this because the LSP5 also has Bluetooth and that allows me to have wireless monitoring. Alternatively, you can use a wired set of headphones, just plug them into the headphone jack on the side of the LSP5 and you'll get zero latency monitoring. The 3.5mm headphone port of the LSP5 also allows you to make a backup recording directly in the camera. And it works by getting a cable that plugs into the headphone port of the LSP5, and then the other end plugs to the mic in port of your camera, and now it's sending a signal into your camera so it'll embed the LSP5 audio onto your video. The LSP5 audio is much better than the in-camera audio, so if you need to synchronize the two in post-production, have a look at the slate tone option on the LSP5. This will fire a short but loud audio beep, which will give you a spike in the audio settings, so you can match those up in post-production for perfect synchronization.